Hey you guys and welcome back to Pineview. <laughs> um, so last episode we got working on our uh, granite walls for defense. We still don't have gun turrets up or anything like that but we absolutely will in the future have gun turrets up. Um, which will allow our characters to be less of a target during combat scenarios. Cassandra very strangely left us alone for the last episode. I'm not sure what that's all about. Maybe she was feeling bad for me after um, my save scumming. But I've pretty much dedicated myself to no save scumming after this point. Um, so, got to be extra careful and make sure those walls get built. We also got some uh, Megatherium wall drop on us. What else happened? We're building a tool belt. And we've got a wind turbine. As well as some nice art. So, let's get moving with this episode. Everyone is still fast asleep. So, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Right, it is the next day. I've let things run a little bit because it's been just a bit slow this morning. Uh, something I want to do though is I notice the man has to walk quite far to bring his granite down to this wall to work on it. So... Something simply we can do is make a stockpile zone and bring his, uh, someone else who's got hauling but not necessarily construction can bring his um, bricks to him. So resources manufactured, no, is it raw? It is not raw, stone blocks. Here we go. So granite blocks, please. And make that critical. And then someone like Penelope. Penelope is a someone after all. Might grab a stack of um, granite blocks and bring them down. I think Roix might be doing that. Yep. So Roix is going to make sure that the man has granite blocks nice and close to his construction zone. Whenever he needs it. Now I could make that like two spaces, so there's always some and no less hauling that way, but we'll just leave it like it is right now. Belgabor is cleaning some strange areas around our base. <laughs> we could change that by designating um, what is and isn't the home in this area. You can see anywhere that's blue, it's counted as home. Uh, and Belgabor is cleaning areas that aren't home. Um, because, <laughs> because they're just stuff that isn't home, really. Uh, when, when an area of home gets designated, so like a stockpile is used, something is built in that area or something, the game puts a little padding around whatever that area is. So that's why there was like four blocks of home, or there's some blocks of home out here. It's because the game just needs to make sure that um, it's got as much as as much of what you consider home as possible. So we have a mad animal. Cassandra is being very nice to me. I find that very strange. Uh, I'm just clearing up some of this area, and then we'll get to the mad animal attack right away reason I'm doing this is because I don't want Belgable cleaning areas he doesn't have to all day, every day. Areas that characters aren't necessarily going to be hanging around in. Great, it works for me. So as you can see, as he's building out the structure, the home area is expanding. There's a home area around the graves as well. Probably want to get rid of that, to be honest. We'll have to get rid of that every time a new grave is placed there, but that's okay. So our mad animal is a boom rat, which is a problem. And it's probably going to attack from the south, which is really annoying, because that's where we don't have a completed wall. Um, boom rats are a pain, because as their name implies, they go boom. Uh, our best shooter is Roax, right? So I'm going to get Roax... Down there. Where are you going, Rex? Are you grabbing an eye patch? No. Sorry, sweetheart. You're coming down here. Yes, I just called my character sweetheart, which technically means I called myself sweetheart. 
Where's that Boomat at? There. Which way are you going, Boomat? Pretty sure you're going to go to the south. I'm trying to predict the AI, which usually takes the shortest route possible. The man is nice and close by, and he uh, has a pistol and likes to shoot things, so that's good. But hopefully we kill this boom rat. Fortunately, it's raining right now. Boom rats explode in fire. There you go. All right, Rex took care of it. No big deal. Uh, it's raining right now, so the rain will put out the fire. And I will unforbid the boom rat. And the boom rat is slowly being damaged by the fire that isn't being put out on top of its body, but someone will go and grab that boom rat and uh, cut it up. Thank you, Sir Heck, for bringing bricks for the man to use. Right. We need more. Yeah, there we go. Curie is making more bricks. We've got a brick shortage right now. I think there's a slate is the problem. Yeah. I could mark some granite to be brought down to that stockpile. I think that's exactly what I will do. It's all slate. That's slate. That's granite. Some of this is slate, some of it is granite. That's all granite. No. Yes. That's all granite. So bring all that in. And hopefully people will prioritize that uh, at the appropriate time. <laughs> kind of have to trust the AI. But that's part of the fun is just seeing who does what when. Man has a lot of work to do anyway. Did we get that tool belt made? I don't think we did. We did! Everything got made. So where's our tool belt? Are you wearing the tool belt? Yeah. You drop the tool belt. What? Yeah. Alright. And the man, you're going to come pick this up. It's a shoddy tool belt, but it's a tool belt. And you grab the poor hammer as well. Even though Curie is our crafter, she's not the best crafter. Uh, eight. So I think that's just mostly bad luck. And I know we're stopping the man from doing the work on the wall that he should be doing, but this should make it go a lot faster. You take that, and then you also equip the hammer, thanks. That all replaces pistol. This is part of the trade-off with... Uh, with using tools as your character has to replace their weapon with the tool. But now if we take a look at the info, its construction speed is 312%. Which is considerably better. <laughs> Just want I'd made this mistake last time though, so yeah. So considerably better than anyone else. Which is great, because that's what he needs to be doing, is doing a lot of construction. And we will have more combatants later on as well. Early on, um, you shouldn't need everyone to be a combatant. But uh, something that might be nice to do later on as well is set up weapon racks around the place. So that if we have people with lots of tools, what we can do is we can um, get them to very quickly equip something that is nearby. So that is going way faster. We are on single speed, and you saw how slow those numbers were going down before. That is going a lot, a lot faster. Right, let's get moving through the day, see what happens. We really need the man to finish this, primarily because the man needs to go back to research. Um, Stefan can probably do some research now that uh, Harvesting period is over. Harvesting and growing period is over. So why don't we do that? Stefan, research back to one, please. Cool. 
And when hauling is done, you should go and do some research. Good stuff. I think we can officially delete the stockpile now too. Because 20 bricks should be enough for that last piece of wool. The man, you had bricks right there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Looks like everyone's winding down for the night, so I'll see you in the morning. Okay, during the night we got attacked by beavers again, or rather the beavers have spawned again, and we know what we need to do about that. And, remember, I've said to myself that I am not going to save scum anymore. So, here's how this is going to go. We are going to grab rats. Well, we should be able to wait till morning. I'll be back in the morning once everyone's nice and rested. Alright, everyone's getting up for the day. So, we have Stefan. No, you don't fight. We're going to have the man grab a pistol. He's just picked up the hammer, but let's grab a pistol. Uh, Stefan doesn't fight. Curie, what do you do? Keep calling you Stefan, it's so heck. <laughs> Maybe you should, I should just change your uh, nickname to Sir Hick so I stop confusing myself. Um, Curie has some shooting skill. Belgabor has more shooting skill. So Belgabor, you're going to equip the bow. And then we are going to draft everyone. Right, so you go there. The man. You go there. Belgabor. You go here. And the other two can just do what they're doing all day. Manhunter pack. Oh, this is awful. And it's an elephant. Alright. <laughs> so, good thing we drafted. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to go there. And, uh, this is pretty, pretty awful. Okay. So let's, no, no, save's coming, but I am going to save just to, uh, just to solidify this as a problem. Because <laughs> that's something that I wasn't doing with the previous save scum, so I didn't save during the event, thereby locking the event in place. Oh, Penelope. Oh, sweet baby. Go, please go back to your animal area. We're going to have meat for days. That's what's going to happen here. Yay. All right. This is good. Uh, Curie, you are going to not rescue the elephant. You are going to draft and merely attack the elephant to death. Murder. Murder, 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 murder. You're not going to consume the elephant. <laughs> right, you don't haul. So Heck hauls, though. So you... Oh. I'm sure you haul. Yeah, you do haul. And that's a fresh kill. Which is four animal corpses that are fresh. So why won't you haul the animal? Cannot bury, consume. Nope. I'm an idiot. Unforbid it. <laughs> haul the elephant, please. Great. Awesome. Now, this is what I was originally going to do before Manhunter Elephant came along. I am so lucky the elephant didn't... Um, charge the walls because elephants can knock down walls very quickly in this game um which is something you could work towards as ha having an elephant army right fire at the alpha beaver the plan here is to kill as many alpha beavers as possible if there's a revenge event rex runs behind our new walls allowing her a place to shoot at alpha beavers from because I don't think alpha beavers are going to be very good at breaking through the wall which is why the other two are standing up there drafted 
It's very bad for their mood. But um, I'd prefer to get these things dealt with. And Rex is getting some excellent shooting practice by doing this. And we're going to have meat for days. Meat for days. We aren't getting a revenge event though, which is nice. I like not getting revenge events. Have I missed any? Dead, dead. Some of them aren't dead, but we'll deal with that. Is there any sneaking around here? You run off into the forest. No, I think we are good. All right, unforbid those. Unforbid those. I'm going to undraft everybody. Uh, apparently they undrafted themselves. Which, did I do that? I think I might have done that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. A poor squirrel got shot in the process, but that's fine too. We have visitors. We're going to have so much meat. Like, seriously, this elephant has already been taken apart. And we have a lot of meat from said elephant. Meat everywhere. Like, 200 odd meat. I think we might have got tusks from it as well, if we were lucky. Tusks sell for a lot, as you can imagine. We have a bed. Alright. No, no tusks. That's fine. Rex has got plenty of stuff to work with. What we could actually do right now is... Rex, what's your cooking skill? You are... Seven. Maybe not. Once Rax gets to ten, with this amount of meat and vegetables around, we could actually have Rax make a lot of um, fine meals. Curie, since you weren't very busy today, can you go and talk to our friend Phil? I want to buy your medicine. I want to always buy medicine. Because... While we can make it now, I don't think we're in the position to be able to make it. I want to buy your components. And... Do I want to sell you my kibble? No. Great. We made some nice purchases, that's fine. We don't always have to make a sale. But our base is nice and heavily defended now, which is great. <laughs> we just need somebody to get to researching. Uh, and unfortunately, it's night time and we had a busy day trying to kill things. So hopefully tomorrow morning we will have research happening. Okay. I think this morning it might be a good idea to set up some more food baskets. Since we have... Not good enough wood. It's a unfortunate thing, but uh, we need to chop down some wood anyway. So we'll get rid of these trees. Those ones as well. We should clear out any trees that are close to the walls. So it's a good opportunity to do that. So we have clear lines of fire when we need to. We will keep some copses of trees around though, because what we don't want to do um it's completely harvest ourselves out from the inside you can create growing areas for trees and we might do that but uh not right now okay great good stuff guys we're getting leather now too <laughs> squirrel skin in this case that's a good point how much elephant skin did we get quite a lot 65. Rat, beaver. We have so much beaver skin from the previous beaver killings. So we can make a lot of clothes and we should probably do exactly that because I think people's clothes are probably starting to deteriorate at this point. You're all right. Ah, we're actually in pretty good condition. I'm surprised. I kind of feel like this colony is older than it perhaps is and it's probably because they're so efficient at getting their work done it hasn't been as long as I think it has. Um, 
which is nice. It's nice to have a colony that works well. It can get a little, a little empty of events sometimes because you deal with everything so quickly and nicely. Really could do with that research though, guys. There you go, the man's doing it. Great, just as long as we don't have any more things for him to construct, he should stay there and happily research for us. We do need somebody to join the colony who is a researcher though. It is a very specific need that we have. And there goes Sir Heck doing some research too. And then we'll have gun turrets and be able to set those up. That's always a nice time for a colony is to be able to rely on automated defences. Um, I want to put some more some more food foodie things. Food baskets. Go build food baskets. Build many food baskets. I don't know if the food baskets will block the uh, <laughs> block it and it doesn't look like it does but it, I don't know. just kind of makes sense not to put the food baskets in front of the coolers. Great. Everybody's having a lovely day. We have so many potatoes. How many potatoes officially do we have? That's meat. 1057 potatoes. It's ridiculous. Maybe because everything is frozen right now we should uh how is our temperature in here anyway? Minus eight. Um we should not allow sowing. So that means this harvest will be picked up, but it doesn't mean that um Sir Heck will replant it. Uh and we should possibly do the same for rice. How much rice do we have? 320. No, we'll let rice keep growing. That's fine. What we might do though is increase the amount of simple meals we make. Put that up to like 40. And then Rex will make more and more simple meals. The architect named Scott Shog Anderson calls from, uh, you from nearby. He is being chased by pirates from the Shiv unit. That name is so nasty. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 30 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on his tail. Now, I've never really had a decent character come from one of these. They're usually pretty useless and you do have a raid that happens very shortly after. But we are going to do it because Cassandra has been too nice to me, I feel. I, I kind of want Cassandra to give us something to do. So I'm going to offer safety. You can see this guy is going to run towards us and there is the raid. So the raid is going to come from the same place he's coming from. Shog. How are you anyway? Are you a decent character? You're incapable of dumb labor. Of course you are. You're gay. Oh, that's sweet. You're cold tolerant and you're psychically dull. You are highly artistic. That's actually pretty good. And you're a excellent constructor. That is also good because we need another constructor. Maybe we can give uh, the man a break. Yeah, maybe we will give the man a break. Maybe the man will no longer be our constructor and we'll hand that job off to Shog. Um, but what do we have following us? We have five pirates. This is pretty massive considering our colony. Um, you have a pump shotgun, a hammer, another pump shotgun, a sniper rifle, and another sniper rifle. They are all really bad quality guns, but um, at least we will have guns, hopefully. That's provided we are going to say it. survive. I don't actually know which will be the fastest route. Shog's running this way, which makes me think they're going to run that way. Um, visitors have been and gone, thank you. But we will see. We will see. We only have two guns on our team. Uh, we do have embrasures though, and one bow. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll, we'll see how things go. Hopefully it won't be an utter disaster. Oh, all right guys, uh, let's lock this one in. LP07, save. Woo, all right, play. I think they're attacking immediately, which makes sense. So in that case, Rex, draft, you are going to be here. 
uh, the man. You're gonna be here. And Balgabor, you're gonna be here. Shog, did you come with a weapon? You didn't. Of course you didn't. Curie, you're also going to be here, except you're going to be right there. And I've done the exact thing that I told you guys not to do, which is put them right in front of embrasures. We don't want them right in front of embrasures. We want them against the... Stop undrafting them. <laughs> we want them next to embrasures. Okay. And then Curie, you're going to be there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Shog, you better hurry up, buddy. You're right on your tail. Penelope, I thought I restricted you. I did, but now I remember. Um, animals. None right now, thank you. Go home. Good girl. Okay. Deep breaths. We can do this. It's four against one and a wall. Or four against one, four against five and a wall. And you were going somewhere else. You cheeky little... Alright, we're going to focus on the people with the guns first. That is obvious. Dudes with the pump shotguns are coming straight for us. And they're not firing on us. Dude with the hammer is trying to knock down the back door. And he might get through, but... Hopefully we'll deal with these two first. Where is this sniper? Because they had a sniper. Uh, where'd this sniper go? Sniper. No sniping. You have a hammer. You're this dude with sniper rifle. Alright. That's fine. Uh, no one can shoot at you, huh? Well, who put the man there? And Belgabor there. Ooh, this may be a really bad idea. Because that is a pump shotgun. But uh, melee at super close range is probably going to be better. Yeah, so the dude with the pump shotgun has to fight Curie up close. Can't shoot them, it's just a rule of the game. We'll unforbid those. We'll strip these people. And I think they're running away. Are they? No, they're attacking. All right. So you all come down here. How's that door doing? 50%. Shog is doing what? Repairing the granite wall. Nice. But this does give you an idea of how well our defenses are when we don't even have automated stuff, which is nice. Man, you're going to go there. Uh, Rax. You're going to go here. Maybe that's something I should do with all of them, is change it so there's embrasures either side of a door, because I think that will allow them to shoot. We'll see. Oh, they break, broke down the door. That's not good. Okay. Change of tech. Uh, Belgabor. Here. Rex. Here. Curie. You're gonna hide up here. It's a sniper rifle. <sighs> See, this is the issue. Um... <laughs> Belgabor. Curie. Everyone's going to be distracted fighting other things, so you can go there. Please don't one-shot the man with your sniper rifle. Great. Okay. Okay. Looks like we might be good. Melor's running away. We have one survivor. Finally, we took care of people without killing them necessarily. So we're going to undraft you and you and you. Shog, can you please capture Sheffer? And we will unforbid all of this stuff. And strip you 
and I'm forbid that sniper rifle. So we've got two poor sniper rifles. That's okay. It's better than no sniper rifles. And we definitely want to, as soon as possible, put a granite door back up. Oh boy. I'm glad that went well. <laughs> With my new promise to not um, save scum, you can receive herbal medicine. Uh, your recruitment difficulty is 50%. Let's check out your character though. You are incapable of intellectual or artistic. That's all right. Um, you're a good constructor as well. This is excellent. The only problem is I would really like some more people who are capable of combat. We I keep getting people who are neither good at melee or shooting. You're a prosthophile, so we should probably get you a prosthetic as soon as possible. You are a psychopath, though. Meh. I think it's probably worth chat and recruit. So the man, you're going to go and do some doctoring on Shafer. How is your health, anyway? You had gunshots to the torso, the right arm, the liver, and the right humerus. And you're bleeding out from several of those. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I think we've had quite an exciting day, finally. Started off not so interesting, but then finally got somewhere. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.